outside of our homes, which we've already done, reach outside of our communities, reach across the ocean, because there are children suffering. Every time we turn our back on a starving child, when countries yell out for help, every time we turn our back on those countries, we're actually giving them the same type of death sentence that our kids receive. It's just slow. So we can't forget the kids that are suffering each and every day. This is a reminder to each and every one of us that we must pull together. We must pull together to love one another, to take care of our children. So this is Clayma. That was small town Newtown. This is small town Claymont. It could have happened anywhere. So please, look outside of ourselves. Join and love each other far and near. It's personal to us because even on the streets, we are losing our children on a daily basis being massacred, massacring each other. So um, this poem is called Wipe Your Eyes. Wipe your eyes, mom and dad. I'm in a much better place. I have made it to heaven to see God's face. Although everybody is asking why we had to go away, just know that we are safe here. We can be ourselves and are free to play. Our lives were cut short, yes, this is true. But we served our purpose while we were, while we were there by bringing joy to you. Please don't ever feel that the joy has to fade away. Just hold us in your hearts and believe that you will see us again one day. There are many others that we did not know who are shedding tears. Please inform them that we are in perfectly good hands now, so have no fear. We know it will be very hard for you to live on, but you must try your best and stay strong. God said he will give you comfort if you just continue to pray. So please say a prayer every single day. Wipe your eyes, mom and dad. We have taken our place in the sky. And remember, as long as our spirit lives in you, we will always be alive. Amen. So that is for the children, and that is for the adults also that lost their lives. I took that approach to it because the parents always hear from adults, oh, your child is in a better place, your child is safe now. But to feel that comfort that your child will say that to you in your dream, or if you see them while you're awake, you feel their spirit, to feel that from them, I feel that would be a, a lot more comforting to know that your child is telling you, mommy, daddy, I'm okay. So that's why I took that approach to that. And I, I ask that you just continue to pray for them, pray for the children overseas that we don't see, the things that we don't see in different countries, Amen. as he was speaking of earlier, because there's so many other tragic things going on around the world. So I ask that you just pray for us as a whole, every single day. Yes. Charlotte Bacon, we're praying for you. Daniel Barden, we're praying for you. Rachel Devino, we're praying for you. Olivia Engel, we're praying for you. Josephine Gay, we're praying for you. Anna Green, we're praying for you. Dylan Hockley, we're praying for you. Dawn Hotsprung, we're praying for you. Madeline Sill, we're praying for you. Catherine Hubbard, we're praying for you. Chase Kowalski, we're praying for you. Jesse Lewis, we're praying for you. James Mattioli, we're praying for you. Grace McDonald, we're praying for you. Anne Marie Murphy, we're praying for you. Emily Parker, we're praying for you. Jack Pinto, we're praying for you. Noah Posner, we're praying for you. Carolyn Previtti, we're praying for you. Jessica Rakos, we're praying for you. Eviel Richmond, we're praying for you. Lauren Russo, we're praying for you. Mary Sherlock, we're praying for you. Victoria Soto, we're praying for you. Benjamin Wheeler, we're praying for you. And Allison Wyatt, we're praying for you. Not a second, or another minute. Not an hour or another day. But at this moment, with my arms outstretched, I need you to make a way as you have done so many times before. Through a window and open door, I stretch 
my hands to you when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be hallelujah when we all see Jesus we'll sing and shout the victory.